Hello guys, it's me again, Kill Switch. So today I'm going to show you my current Paragon build. So two builds for today. First one will be more on player versus player, and the second one will be more on player versus environment. I'm currently using more on player versus player. So let's start. Vanquisher 3, 5 points here, damage going to Zeal, 25 points damage, and 25 life. So in this build, we will be focusing first on life and damage. For the survivor, 5 points life, and yielding 1 point, armor 10 points, escape artist 1, life 15 points, precognition 1 point here, and then damage 25 again. Treasure hunter, armor 5 points, swift learner, damage 15, going to gold find, do not get the armor penetration yet. So that's for later. 20 points potency, 1 point lucky, and then 25 points life. For the gladiator 3, all the way to damage, and of course, cheat death. After that, go down, armor 20 points, and then rapid recovery. This will reduce the cooldown of uncontrollable. Soldier, hold formation, going to life, going to resistance, and then damage again. Mastermind, 5 points potency here, coordinated assault, a lot, 1 point armor penetration here first, so do not maximize this out yet. After that, mutual defense, damage, covert operations, life. Maximum to get support, superior coordination and then get find weakness. So that's how you distribute your points. If you have more points to use, then go for armor penetration. Maximize this out. After this one, go to treasure hunter to maximize this one here too. After this, we can now use rat and then armor penetration here so that's it this is more on player versus player for farming i am using treasure hunter this is for outdoor area farming only for dungeons and raids mastermind for defense of sirangar survivor even in reef i am also i am using survivor and then player versus player i am using gladiator so next build will be focusing on player versus environment which gives you more damage on monsters let's start again with the vanquisher 3 5 points here 1 point zeal 25 points damage to unlock rat and then 10 points potency to use exorcism survivor 3 5 points Life, Unyielding, 10 points armor. Escape Artist, 15 points here, life. Precognition, and then maximum damage. Treasure Hunter, all the way to Gold Find. So that's it for now. Gladiator, again, until damage. And of course, do not forget to take cheat that. Going to soldier, 15 points here. 15 points resistance to unlock damage again. Mastermind, 5 points here. Coordinated assault, 1 point mutual defense, maximum damage again. So that's it for the mastermind. After that, check your stats. If you have a low armor penetration, prioritize armor penetration. If you have more than 900 plus armor penetration, then go for life. So for now, we will prioritize armor penetration. So maximize this out. 25 here. Treasure Hunter, this one, Armor Penetration 2. Gladiator, 
and then going to soldier, unlock battle morale, 20 points here, and then mastermind, max this out. Now, after all that, we can now prioritize life. As I said, if you have more than 900 armor penetration, prioritize life first than armor penetration. So, life. Treasure Hunter, we will not get that one yet because it's too much points. And then Mastermind going to Covert Operations to unlock life. After all that, then you can now go to Treasure Hunter to unlock Potency, Lucky, and then to get life here. So that's it for the Paragon build focusing on damage for player versus environment. For the Vanquisher, I'm using this for dungeons and raids. We will not use Survivor here, Treasure Hunter, Outdoor Area Farming again, Gladiator, Player vs. Player, and Soldier and Mastermind will not be used. So only Vanquisher, Treasure Hunter, and Gladiator if you want to focus on Player vs. Environment than Player vs. Player. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment that down below. Thank you for watching. Until next time.